picture. Hello everybody. Um, I've got a couple of bits to show you. Uh, some more wool. I'll explain. And yeah. So I thought I'd do it now before any of these things get lost or anything. Um, so the wool I got that was the wrong colour from Derek Morse. Um, I have sent that back. Um, I was going to sell it on eBay. But I thought by the time I've paid PayPal and eBay and posted it, I'm not going to be, you know, any better off really. So I returned it along with the buttons I ordered that I thought were probably too small. So I sent them back Tuesday. They arrived yesterday and I thought, oh, you know, it's going to take forever. And within an hour or two of them arriving, I'd had a refund. So clearly the returns department works, if only the dispatch and customer service department worked. Because I was still, uh, we're a full week later now, I've not had a reply to my email. I also emailed them again Wednesday, no reply. It was suggested that I perhaps say something on Facebook because that gets a quicker response. I mean, it, it gets a, a response, but it's a fairly generic, oh, I'm very sorry, would you like to call the customer service team? No, I wouldn't. To be perfectly honest, I'd like them to get back to me because, you know, I've made three different contacts now. I've phoned them, I've emailed them, I've emailed them. I'm not chasing, you know, I shouldn't have to beg for, for them to speak to me. So I'll leave it again and, you know, see what I get. But I don't want them to think that, oh, she's had her order, that's dealt with. No, I, it's not about that now. It's an issue of you're not replying to my email. And it, it's something that just, you know, it, it just needs addressing. So, um, oh, angry person. So, um... Monday night, I think, I ordered some, some Periscope. Wow. Um, yeah, I ordered some from eBay in the end. Because uh, the, not that I would have ordered from Darren Moore's, but um, I didn't, uh, I couldn't have exchanged it. They didn't have the colour in stock. Shocker. And um, I just don't really want to give them any more business. So I found this on eBay. I don't know how it will come on. This is silver. Shade 2454. So I've got three of these. Um, so we'll see how we go. But that arrived, oh did it Tuesday, it arrived Thursday. I picked it up today because I wasn't on work yesterday. So, much better. So, works, uh, I still finished items. I have made a pair of mittens for Tobin. This I've got to cut an end off. Um, so yes, I made him mittens, and these were following a like a beginner pattern uh, video tutorial on eBay, no, YouTube. Um, so yeah, they're pretty good. The only thing I changed is I did some front post, back post, crochet at the bottom because it just looked like it was likely to flare, and he wanted it a bit deeper. So I've done that for him. And that's um, James C. Brett Marble Chunky MC46, I believe. So there are those. I will make him a cowl or something to go with it. And then I made a cowl yesterday. And this was going to originally be for Jack. I think it's a two-minute stitches. So it's now mine. However, and I can't think what the pattern was for this. I'll find it. I'll link it below. I think it's still too... Um, too big for me because when I put my coat on it sort of it bunches up at the front so I have to faff with it so it may end up being for somebody else but it's nice and um, this is James C. Brett Marble Chunky MC6 I think so I like it Jack likes it and he's like where's mine so I'll get around to it. and then I'm making the Bailey Bear cow um, which is why I needed the super chunky and I did this yesterday so this is for a uh, how old is she she's 20 months old and the mum said don't worry if you do it a little big she'll wear it sort of this winter and next hopefully because she's little for her age so I did the 12 to 18 month um, pattern I got gauge woo um, after I had to order myself some more crochet hooks I've lost my 9mm, I, I used it to make the slippers, the monster slippers, gone, it's gone, uh, I even went outside and looked in the 
like the bag with the leftover bits and the paper I used to keep the, the feet flat when I made it, made the slippers went yeah, gone. So I had to order some more and I didn't want to order just a 9mm in case my gauge was off and I needed a 10 because I struggled a little bit with the slippers. I had to try and crochet a bit looser than I normally would because I think I do quite tight normally. Um, but this is with a 9mm and I got gauge. It's something daft like two stitches per inch. <laughs> and I did it. Woo! So, uh, there's the, the hood. I can get this on Jack, I can get it over his head, but um, it, it was too like short on the hood, which is good because he's three. I mean, he's a little three, but um, I don't think it will be, it will be a bit big on her, I imagine, but hopefully not too big. I mean, she will grow into it, it's better to be too big than too small. Um, so I've just got to do the ears, and then that's done, and that was three hours maybe maybe less um because i had the kids yesterday and i just i thought well i'll do the i'm a um foundation uh a half to well a foundation crochet convert i love it love it um so yeah i like it this wool i have to say it is this yarn 75 percent premium acrylic 25 percent wool it's lovely it's really nice to work with um and it's stylecraft Life super chunky. Um, I don't know how much I paid a ball for this. Let's put my stand corrected. I know it's just thank you for my purchase. Yep, I, I think for three balls plus postage it was ten pounds something. Um, I needed it, so it, it is what it is. I think I got it slightly cheaper on Derrimores, but then I got free postage because I'd ordered over 25 pounds um so yes if you can see it on offer and you want a super chunky i would probably you know i'd say give it a try this is parchment color um so that was good i've got one more of these to make and i'm nowhere near as daunted now because this whipped up super quick and i really like it so the boys may end up getting one if i can get the um i think it's a charcoal color i've seen she's made some more of these and one was a raccoon or something really nice I think the boys would like that but we shall see so that's my uh, work in progress I haven't done anything else craft fair wise because I've been busy making goodies to wear um, these are my last two orders the, the cows and then it's it's Christmas presents and craft fair all the way so that's that really so I just wanted to update you before with you know anything else changes and to show you the wool I've got and then obviously I'll show you it worked up and I'll show you this one finished because um, I don't know when I'm seeing them all I don't actually know where I've only spoken to a, to a friend of mine and we're both actually doing the craft fair so I'll either give it to her there or I'll get my friend to point her out at school no one, and I'll go and give it so that's it from me I think I hope everyone's okay um, Jan has had a really rubbish week Jan Cutler's um, so we, you know, everyone's sending their love and you know we're thinking of you because it's just it's rubbish so um you know you're in our thoughts and i hope everyone else is okay and i'll speak to you soon bye